All right, so we have a uh, fully built gimbal over here. And you notice I have everything kind of tucked into this project box. Um, it's pretty loaded up. It's got the joystick. Uh, it has a Bluetooth module in here. Obviously the control board, you know, it's got a lot of stuff. The only thing I didn't add to this is an external remote, like, um, you know, if you're doing a second operator, but you could still do second operator through Bluetooth. So there is a Bluetooth module tucked in here. So let me power this up and show you guys um, what that looks like. Now, uh, I don't know if you see on the screen here, I have the uh, simple BGC software and that's actually coming right off of my phone here. So let me make sure that this guy's connected first. And let me reboot the uh, software here. All right, so it's connecting right now. So we're connected to the uh, module. Now, obviously you could see a lot of the, um, you know, the, the gimbal settings here. So I could do a lot of functionality changing my PID settings. But again, one of the things that's kind of cool is the, the second operator. So if I power this on, um, now I have control over my tilt. So if you just watch this gimbal over here, I can pitch up, I can pitch down as well as pan. Now you can program your, your roll as well if you wanted to. Um, I don't have roll enabled on my RC settings. Um, on the top here, you can change profiles very quickly. So we go to profile one, still have my RC settings here. So this is, um, through the Bluetooth is a good way to get your second operator. If you're trying to, uh, one guy flies the gimbal, the other guy is kind of controlling the pan and tilt, or maybe you have this hanging out of a car Obviously, you don't want to do it with this gimbal, but you can control the uh, pan and tilt through your, your cell phone, smartphone, or Android tablet at least. Um, but the, even though the, the Bluetooth module is pretty cool, it has some of the things you could do. You can't really save profiles and reload profiles. So one of the things that I'm running into is my PID settings for a GH4 may not be... Uh, perfect for, let's say, a heavy A7S setup. So I'll have to reload my profiles for a very heavy camera, and then I'll have to reload my profiles for a very lightweight camera. So you can go in and kind of change, tweak that, but it's not like the application where you're able to save profiles and load profiles. Um, and I like to do them in folders, and so it's easy, easier that way. So you'll still have to get into the desktop software to do that. So let me disconnect this um, Bluetooth module here. One of the things that uh, I found, instead of carrying the, instead of carrying around the um, laptop to get to the desktop software, is uh, th this is a WinBook. So it's a Windows tablet, and it runs um, full Windows and you can even launch the simple BGC software here. So, and then the thing about this WinBook is for around $80, it has a full USB port. So you're able to connect it regular USB. So let me plug this in real quick. Okay, so now that we're connected, um, let's go back to the desktop and launch the app. And then you just choose your COM port, connect. Now, I don't know if you guys could actually see this, but we are connected. I could see my basic profiles. I can load and save and pretty much do everything I can with a, a full Windows laptop. Now, the reason I wanted a um, Windows tablet is because this is running the full version of Windows, so I can actually do all my upgrades as well. Pretty straightforward. So if I hit the check button here, it'll connect to the internet. It shows me my uh, firmware version, and then I can upgrade. With a Mac laptop, it's a little bit harder to get all this functionality in the in the simple BGC software. So 
this Windows tablet here, this WinBook, for about 80 bucks, this is a seven inch one, can actually run the software. So you're not gonna really use the tablet for much more because it doesn't have a lot of storage space, but it can run the full software, full USB for about $80, and this is a seven inch. So I'll have a link to that in case you guys wanna carry one of these. I'm, I figure I'll just keep this with my gimbal case in case I need to access the full version of the software instead of going through the Bluetooth and uh, not have to bring my laptop around. Um, but that's it, just wanted to share that, that uh, even though you have Bluetooth to change some settings, sometimes you need the full version of Windows and this WinBook for 80 bucks is a great deal. So that's it, more information, check it out at the blog, cheesycam.com.